presumably Rowan thinks that in a certain sense they were written by God, not by these humans. I mean, and since, well, since, he, since he has been sporting enough to bring God into the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, you, I think, uh, Richard, believe you have a disproof of God's no, existence. No, I don't. I don't. That, you were wrong when you said that. I, I, I constructed in The God Delusion a seven-point scale um, yes. of which one was I'm, I, I, I know God exists, huh. Uh, seven was I know God doesn't exist, and I called myself a six. Why don't you call yourself an agnostic then? I do, um, <laughs> but but I, but I think it's a. I think it's you a are rather, described as the world's rather, most famous atheist. Well, not, by <laughs> <laughs> not by me. Not by me. Can I ask you to, to right, spell I'm a, out your I'm a argument? Six point your, nine. Your Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you have your Boeing 747 argument yes. to show I mean, I, I highly believe, improbable. I believe that when, when you talk about agnosticism, it's very important to make a distinction between I don't know whether X is true or, or, or not, therefore it's 50-50 likely or, or unlikely. And that's the kind of agnostic which, I, which, I don't, which I'm definitely not. Um, I think one can place estimates of probability on, on these mm -hmm. things. And I think the probability of, of any supernatural creator existing is very, very low. So let, let's say I'm a 6.9. Mm -hmm.